here at Tiger Forest, we have two tigers, Tahan, our male, and Batari, our female. And our biggest project right now with the team is hopefully breeding. We've been working on breeding for four years, and this year we've had the most success to date at our zoo. Tahan and Batari met each other for the first time in June and shared actual space in the dens, and they actually copulated. In the wild, tigers live solitary. They only come together for breeding, so the safest way to breed tigers in human care is to study the female cycle. We study it two ways. We study the behavior. She'll have a decreased appetite. She'll be really focused on Tahan and do a friendly greeting called a chuff. We'll also see her roll on her back a lot more. So we are logging those behaviors, but then we also collect her poop and send it to a hormone lab in St. Louis, and they will actually measure the estrogen in it. Then we see if the estrogen spike overlaid with her behavior spike, and that's how we know when it's the right time to put her with Tahan. Last week when I watched the overnight video, what really sparked my interest is that every time Batari got up from a sleep, Tahan popped up and went straight to where she was and waited for her to come back into the, they weren't sharing space, but he waited for her to come back. So he was very focused on her, always watching her. When we opened the howdy door for the first time, it was great. They greeted each other face to face with cheek rubbing. What we're hoping will happen is that Batari will lay down and present for Tahan. And then usually when um, the act is complete, the female gets pretty angry and we'll turn around and kind of smack him. <laughs> and they do actually breed quite a few times in a day. We would be ecstatic if she got pregnant on the first introduction, but we also would really not be surprised if she didn't. Typically it takes numerous introductions over several months to actually conceive. If we have baby tigers, of course that's gonna be a pretty big achievement. We've been working on this goal for such a long time. It will just feel amazing to accomplish that. But it'll also feel great to help the species. Malayan tigers are critically endangered and it would be really gratifying to help contribute to the insurance population with AZA.